it starts with conception, like a spark, you know, like the light bulb goes off, except it's not the traditional eureka. When I'm driving or like long distance riding my car, uh, you know, turn off the radio and have complete silence. And, you know, you get this just amalgamation of images slowly and, and um, you try and uh, make sense of them, but not too much sense because I like to make sure that everything is confusing. <laughs> it's, it's something about my work is I, I like conf confusing. What made me want to be a painter uh, wasn't necessarily uh, an instance or an event. I think that it just goes all the way back from the moment I can remember mm -hmm. picking up a pencil, which would have been um, when I was five. So it, you know, it just started there. Well, for me, painting is uh, it's an impulsive delight and an impression of consciousness. It's not me, but it's an impression of me. And so on one level, it is self-sustainment. You know, I know I'm going to die, but to have this thing left behind, that it's my influence, you know, there's something about that that uh, on a romantic level sits well with me. It's another way to um, influence generations after you're gone. You know, uh, I would love to be a part of that tradition of painting. And I look um, at artists that I absolutely love and try to channel their um, inspiration. And, uh, and, and I'd love for somebody to do that for me.